We're learning new details tonight about the arrest of NFL legend Lawrence Taylor's wife on a domestic violence charge. CBS 4's Ted Scouten live in Pompano Beach with what police say happened. Ted. Hi, Rick. Well, tonight, Lawrence Taylor's wife is still here in the Broward County Jail. There's some confusion as to whether anyone posted her bond or not. Now, this morning, when she was in court, she told the judge that all the accusations against her are lies. But Pembroke Pines police say she told a very different story last night. Lynette Taylor spent the night in the Broward County Jail. She's accused of domestic violence against her husband, NFL Hall of Famer Lawrence Taylor. Lynette Taylor, you're charged with domestic battery resisting arrest. Taylor is accused of throwing something at her husband after an argument inside their Pembroke Pines home. She denied it in court. I do know you allegedly uh, hit a man in the back of the head, causing a, looks like a minor, uh, some minor laceration in the back of his head. Yeah, oh no. That's a lie. Police say she told a different story last night when she was arrested. She's quoted in a police report saying, I threw it at him and going on to admit, I made him bleed. My husband is a 300 pound linebacker. I didn't hit him in the head. Yes, I'm Lawrence Taylor's wife. He lied. The judge took a moment to realize she was talking about the former New York Giants linebacker. You mean. Not, not, the the, LP. not the Lawrence. The Taylor. LP, yes, really? yes. He actually, we had an argument, and he lied to the police. Ma'am. Lynette Taylor got a bit testy when prosecutors brought up her history, including several domestic violence charges that were dropped. Uh, 2001, she was arrested for domestic violence assault and battery under a county oh. ordinance. In 2001, it looks like that was dropped. The bond was set at $2,500 in this case. As we said, there's still some confusion as to whether anyone posted that bond or not. It would take $250 to get her out. Live in Pompano Beach, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Ted, thank you. And